Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And once again, the threat of a U.S. government shutdown is pushing stocks lower this morning after two straight days of gains, including a big day on the markets yesterday, albeit uh, trading volume was significantly lower than it has been in the previous part of the month. President Trump announced last night that even if he has to shut down the government, he's going to get that wall built for border security. So we'll have to see where that go. Wall Street has also set eyes on Jackson Hole, Wyoming this week, where a coalition of central bankers are meeting for the Federal Reserve's annual economic policy symposium. And of course, everybody's waiting to see uh, what Janet Yellen will say about the Fed's uh, status on their balance sheet and if they're going to rein it in and what steps they're going to take in the future. So with that, let's take a look at the markets, give you some key levels to watch as we go into Friday and the end of the week. I'm going to start with the S&P 500 currently trading at 2,445.29 with the chart now scored negative 70 with a green monthly and a red weekly trade trial indicating a sidelines position. Currently down about three tenths of a percent uh, off the lows this morning after this big game we had here yesterday that you can see of almost 1%. Uh, key level to watch would be 2,490.87. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade trial indicating a move to a side or a long position for the S&P 500. Dow Jones, we got that red weekly trade triangle we've been waiting for is the last of the indexes to turn. Uh, kicking in at 21,641.63, pushing the chart analysis score to a negative 70, indicating a sidelines position for the Dow Jones. Of course, the next day we had the huge gain up uh, again, almost 1% uh, yesterday, but keep in mind that trading volume is significantly lower uh, as kids are going back to school and summer's kind of wrapping it up and everybody's kicking off finishing off their vacations. Currently trading at uh, 21,838.41, down almost three tenths of a percent off the this morning, uh, coming off the lows uh, from the early market open, however. Key level to watch for the Dow, we 22,179.11. Need to move back above that level to issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a long position for the Dow. NASDAQ currently trading at 6,273.18. Chart analysis score negative 70 with a green monthly and a red weekly trade trial indicating that a sidelines position is in order. Key level to watch would be 6,423.35. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade trial indicating a move to a long position for the NASDAQ. US dollar currently trading at 93.15 off the highs this morning at uh, 93.55 or just kind of slid back off of that charts out score still negative 85 indicating that a strong downtrend is in place however it is weakening as we've kind of moved into a sidelines movement here on the chart key level to watch is 94.05 a move above that level would issue a green weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position for the u.s dollar Crude oil trading back down around 47.89 this morning with a chart analysis score plus 50. Uh, however, that is with a green daily and a green weekly trade triangle, we are in a long short term position. However, overall, the strong downtrend is still in place for crude oil. Key level to watch be 47.21. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines for short term traders. And we'll wrap it up with gold this morning, currently trading at 1,293.90, hovering around that 1,300 level that hasn't been able to break for a little over the last week. Trials score is still plus 90 with green trade trials across the board, indicating that a strong trend is in place for gold. Key level to watch would be 1,286.20. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade trial, indicating a move to a sidelines position. With that, every success. Have a great trading day. I'll be back Friday to wrap up the end of the week and give you some key levels to watch next week.